Welcome back to another episode of the Amateur Hour podcast, aka your favourite podcast ever. That's what it is. Episode 64. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, when you, whenever you are listening to us or seeing our pretty faces on your screens. Well, go on. How are you, brother? Happy birthday as well, mate, for thank Monday. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm good, man. Feeling, I'm feeling old. I'm feeling that 22. It's hitting. Um, that's oh, that's crazy, mate. 22 years old. Old, bro. Ugh, it, I'm 25. It was weird. It I'm 25 weird. on Monday. 25 on Monday. You're three years younger than me, bro. That makes me feel bad. <laughs> I can't lie, mate. Yeah. Oh, well, no, everything's good, bro. Everything is all good. Enjoyed some some nice time to enjoy the birthday. Back to back to normal routine, um, which is cool. Training's all good. Had a very very successful push session today, which I'm happy with. Yeah. Seeing strength fly. What 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 have you done a four plate Smith press? I swear you have. I have, bro. Incline. How many did you get on that? I got five for like a forty-five degree. Okay, okay. I'm just working out what I need to get to because today I got three plates in the fifteen for six. So okay, I'm, I'm working my way up to four plates because I've never done a four. Well, I've done four plates for one rep, but it was it wasn't great. So I'm working my way up to an actual working set on four plates. Um, so I'm gonna. I'm mine's, more if mine's more significant, mate, because you've got little like T Rex arms. So yeah, you you've got full range of motion. I've, I've got, got like this, bro. <laughs> yeah, I've got little rom. <laughs> um, so I'm working on that. But little rom, little rom syndrome. That's what it is. Little rom syndrome. Um, no, it's all good, bro. I'm actually excited to talk about these uh, the British finals because it was quite quite significant this year, which was cool. Like mm -hmm. the shows were very very good. I think the. The two rows one looked really cool in terms of the stage and the setup. I wasn't there, but from what I've seen, um, I think the venue looked pretty cool. Obviously, the fact they had Samson there was, was wicked. Um, and uh, obviously, with a, a guest of ours from two weeks mm. ago, just turned pro. That is, mate, that is correct. That is cool. That is correct, mate. Jack Richardson, IFBB Pro. Self-coached. Self-coached. Bro, Did, um, I saw, I saw he had a Domino's on peak week, or like the man. week as like carb load. He had a uh, he had those chocolate caramel cookies from Domino's. Mate, Domino's, you mean? So I've so I've contributed a, a direct contribution to the IFBB Pro Guard. That means I have coached someone too through <laughs> yeah. through Domino's. Great, um, but now nah, it's um it was good, wasn't it? Because uh, he was in heavyweights. He won his heavyweight class and then obviously ended up winning the overall against uh, Connor, who beat Nick and Sam in the supers, which is good to see, mate. Um, but yeah, it was um it was a good show day for sure, mate. Obviously, it was surprising where what they went for with obviously Nick and Connor being yes. like, more like heavily muscled and dense compared to Sam's like shape and structure, but. I think it just goes to show, obviously, with Sam, like an extra like fifteen pounds of muscle, and be very, very good, very, yeah, very good. Yeah. Nick's like so close, mate. Yeah, the thing, the thing with Nick, that wasn't him on. Like he, he, so he had shingles last week. Mm -hmm. uh, so just coming out the back end of shingles is obviously not you're not going to be where you need to be in terms of conditioning. So obviously, I think he's to be fair. I think him and Connor are both doing Denmark. Um, I know Connor's going abroad, but I don't know if it's definitely Denmark. I know Nick's definitely doing Denmark. Um, so that should be pretty good if, if Nick can get that that last little bit of fat, last little bit of water off his off his physique, it will look pretty sharp, which would be good. Um, yeah, it will do. But no, you you were at PCA, so well, I was at PCA, that. mate. So I was there yeah. on the I was there on the Sunday. Yeah. Um thank you for the people that came up to me and said hello. There were quite a few people that said about the podcast, about mate. Which was pretty decent, but I went for the figure and bodybuilding, so that's what I went for, and it was good, mate. Obviously, started off with the juniors, which will run through, and obviously new PCA pros left, right, and centre. Mm -hmm. And to be fair, mate, across the the standard of the show was very, very good. It was run really well, considering obviously the amount of athletes that were there. Did, um, did the stage look any different? Because they said they were doing something different, but I don't think it looked any different. 
if I say anything, I am in deep trouble. <laughs> I have no, <laughs> I see no difference, mate. Because <laughs> they, they were like, oh, there's a new setup for the finals. I was getting gassed. I was like, this is going to be sick. And then when I saw one of the booths post a picture of their stage on the story before the show even started on Saturday, and I was like, that looks exactly the same. I don't yeah, think I, I was expecting some PCA career stuff, mate. Mm. The cameramen coming round, the yeah, yeah, yeah. everywhere, golden lights, all that. I was thinking, sound. And I went there and I was thinking, nah, man. Nothing. Okay. Don't know, don't know much different. There might have been like a pillar at the back that might have been a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Know. Like an extra, an extra. Yeah. Awesome. It's only about three pillars each side. Now there's four. <laughs> so it looks more like a castle now. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, but now, nah, I mean, the standard across the board was really, really good um, with the juniors as well. I wouldn't say it was an upset, really, but obviously when we had Cal, who came first, and then Luke that came third, then obviously Luke came first, Cal came second, switcheroo. Um, that was like, I was it, like I said, but when I was there, mate, it wasn't a surprise because Luke like, came in better. And we've said this before, mate, if you peak for the show that matters, the 100%, bring your 100% to the one that matters because nobody remembers now. He came home, him coming third. He exactly. remembers, remembers being British champion. So, fair play. Um, and I do think that's one thing that I wanted to mention. When you come in drastically better than your first showing, the judges remember and yeah. they see, wow. They see, when they see, oh, goodness me, he's, he's changed massively. And with Cal, I'm, that's not me saying anything about Cal, he came in perfect, but he came in perfect for London as well. Yeah. So it wasn't really that much change. Don't get me wrong, he came in much fuller as well, a little, a little bit tighter because of the drastic change in Luke's physique from London to to finals. He came in way better, way sharper. And that does make a little bit of a difference um, to the judges when they see such a drastic improvement in somebody's physique. He went straight to the middle, it was him and Cal, and uh, deserved one and two. It could have gone either way, then, mate, depending on what they wanted yeah. for. Yeah, Cal was just a freak, and then obviously Luke as well. So um, um, it was good. Um, it was a good show for sure. You had the yeah, yeah Cal there. Outrageous. Like I said, mate, he, he was on. In person. Yeah, mate, it was ridiculous. And he was on me. It wasn't anything off about him. He was he was fuller. He was arguably leaner. I could touch leaner as well. But considering, like I said, the improvements that Luke made from a week to week perspective in those in those two weeks, two and a bit of weeks, I think it was. Yeah, two weeks, mate, crazy. So yeah. as you can see, mate, it doesn't look any worse off than what he did at London, mate. Full peeled. Yeah. Really, really good, mate. Um yeah, I spoke to him afterwards, mate. He was uh it was, yeah, was cool to speak to him afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, the former champ. Former champ. A fifth. Um Yeah, what 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 are the opinions on that? I don't know, mate. Like everyone, it was all a toss-up, mate. Fifth could have come third, third could have come fourth, right. fourth could. Have come third. It was all one of them ones, mate. He could have been top three, and th- do you know what I mean, it could have been any. It could have been either way. I think a lot of it was just like what he preferred on the day, to be honest. But um, I think from a conditioning perspective, that was just that's probably what it was. Like a, a little one percent here and there. Yeah. But um, like if we look at this, um, the guy who had Protan on, is it Protan or Dream, uh, Dream Time? Yeah, Dream Town, sorry. Um he was peeled, mate. So he was absolutely skinned. So as you can see through the glutes. So just need a little bit more um uh, need a little bit more muscle, but um mate absolutely skinned. Really, really good look. So and then yeah, the Luke first. Um who actually I think they put him up as fourth. This, yeah, yeah I I saw that. Um, but mate, like I said, drastically, drastically improved um, from PCA London, mate. Like it was, it was mental. Yeah, it's a, it's a very, very, very good fucking look. Yeah, then as you can see there, we got Jason put, we got dialed as planned. That's the plan, people. Plan for the main show. Peak for the main show. It makes a difference, and that and this is, is the second year on the run because he he came second at the British last year. Yeah, man, he did, didn't he? So, Come fair back, play. Taking it. Fair play, mate. Did exactly what he wanted to do. So, hats off to you, Luke, mate. Nailed it. Have some hydroflow. No, you look, the standard looked pretty good um, from what I'd seen. Then, in Novice, we had the winner um, that won. 
the London show, PCA London, which is no surprise, mate. Coached by Tom. Yeah. Really, like I said, mate, really, really good. I said it at London, mate. One of my, my favourite physiques at that show. And um, you knew that he was going to come top three at least in uh, at the finals, mate. And as you can see, came in ridiculously good for this show. Uh, and <laughs> Oh mate, yeah. And then second was Storm, who's Reese Reese's client, Reese Pearson's client. Um uh came in really, really well. His uh, he's had a, he's done a good few shows actually. So he's done a for um his I think his second competitive series, I think it is. Um the one with that one there, yeah. That you're mm -hmm. on there. Yeah, so second there, Storm, who is Reese a fit client. Very, very good, mate. Very, very good. Yeah. There's your first and second, but yeah, banging. Yeah, he's done really well, mate. They've managed fatigue really well because his season has been he's been pretty peeled for a long time, so I've done well there. Then we had classic short, Kaleem. Very good. Like I said, it's central, mate. The guy's shape is ridiculous. Um. Just needs to lower to match his upper a yeah. little bit more. But, um, mate, really, really, really good. The, I think the guy who won short was the guy who won at PCA Midlands, who beat Josh Jenkins. But Josh came mm -hmm. second that show. So the, the guy who does like mad posing. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, got his pro card. So. Did they give out the pro cards after each class or did they do it in the overall? Yeah, mate, yes. So what they do is they go, and your new British champion and PCA pro. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, they like surprise them. So um, that's what they, they do. They do that with, with every class? Every not winner. every class, mate. Not every class. Um, not everyone. So then we had medium here. Guys, this guy, mate. What other show did we see him do? Because we he won an overall, didn't he? He won an yeah, overall. Yeah, we looked at him before. Yeah, he was ridiculous, mate. Really, really good. And then the guy who came first in classic tall, self coached as well, mate. Because I saw him, I saw him got repost by uh, that twenty three thousand there go left. This one. Uh huh. Self coached as well because I saw PCA um repost something, but. Mental. Oh, he was a. He won at PCA Hull. That was. Yeah, he won, he won, I remember that before. Yeah, he won there. And then, uh, as you can see, mate, ridiculous. Yeah. Way better in person as well, mate. I don't think this actually. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. He's one of those physiques where just. Yeah, the, the video doesn't really do him any justice, to be fair. Mental rig, mental. Mm -hmm. And then we had bodybuilding short, I think. I think if I remember correctly, or masters, masters, yeah. mate. The masters winner was ridiculous. I think it was 40, the fourth guy with 14,000 um views, mate. This dude, mate. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've seen this one, uh, mate. Definition of Sahara Dry Mate is yeah. He, um, he coached a few people at the show because I've, I've seen people like you know when they like film their coach on stage and they're like yeah. Him up. I, I see I've saw that go go around a few times with him. He looks really good. He won his pro card as well. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah, man, he was ridiculous. Again, he didn't. The video does not show off how good he looked in person. Oh, is, that's mental to look like that. Yeah. <laughs> Very Ridic good. Very cool. Yeah, definitely one of the standouts of the day, mate, in my opinion. When you see someone like that over 40. I'm assuming this is the 50. Yeah, 50 plus. Second place. I, don't, I, don't, I think I was getting... I'm all I'm at, I think I was getting my cream of rice at this point. Yeah. I was getting meal too. Core on tour. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know it, mate. <laughs> or on tour in Telford. Um, big man. We've already looked at him before. Yes. Oh. So, 
medium, Marcel, saw him at um, Central. Yes. Really good, mate. Love this posing. Love his physique, mate. Bobbly, great shape. This, mate, they this... They them all in the wrong mate, order. Mate, this lineup, mate, was arguably probably the biggest... Honestly, it was ridiculous. Uh, bodybuilding medium, it was mental, mate. You obviously had that guy who won at Yorkshire. Seventh was Nick, who came second to him um, at Yorkshire. Yeah. Like, it was mental, mate. So, very, very good class. Probably most, arguably, probably the most competitive one um, across the board. So, out of the classes throughout the day. So, he, look, he looks really good. I like that physique from the yeah. front. Let's go to the show, mate. He was fourth. Yeah. So, very good physique, mate. The shape was really good. Nice shape. Damn. I don't know where. Yeah, this was um what cool. cool. Josh Harrison, mate. So we had medium second place. Mate, none of these have been posted in the right order. There you go. Oh mate, this dude, PCA Midlands, mate. Freak. Ridiculous rig, mate. Yeah, wow. I remember on the first show he was sweating quite a lot. This time round he wasn't sweating as much. So much so now. It was good. But yeah, this class for sure, mate, was probably like the probably one of the best in terms of like literally one through eight were, were mental. So it, it seems that way, yeah. Fuck it out. Everyone's in that one. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, Josh Harrison, really, really good look. Um, ended up um, winning the overall. Yeah. Uh, in my opinion, mate, he was he was standout. Really, he was he was the standout, mate. Um, Do you obviously... think I've seen not not taking anything away from Josh here, but I've seen I can't I think it was Martin's client was in the same class. Have, or, have a look, have a look, mate. It was um, in the overall or something with him. Um, it might have been in the overall, but. You had um obviously Adam who won the overall at PCA Yorkshire. Yeah. Yeah, mate. Big, biggest dude there, bro. But I think it was just a condition perspective from uh, the rear shots. But um really, really mate, the guy's huge. Like yeah. it's again, the video does not do him justice on how big he actually is. He's gotta be at least like at least two hundred and eighty pounds. It's so sick when people weigh like that much on stage. Hey, genuinely like two two seventy, two eighty pounds. It wouldn't surprise me. He towers over people, mate. And then you had the overall there. So which guy were you? It might have been in the pro. Oh, it was in the pro. It was it because he did the pro show after, didn't he? Yeah, he did do the pro show. But yeah, he was him oh. he was he was the standout, mate, in my opinion. Um just from Every perspective, fullness, condition, but what helped him massively, mate? Because obviously he was in tall. They did the overall straight afterwards, so he's just come from ways and rounds and rounds of posing, yeah. mate. He looked bursting full. So everyone else yeah. is obviously backstage waiting. He's just come off doing like doing all of his rounds, and then he got better and better and better. So when he's in the overall, he just looked ridiculous. And the judges are literally like he's fresh in their mind. Exactly, mate. It makes honestly, it made a massive difference here. Like he just got better when he posed. Like he got fuller, he got harder, and the next thing you know, mate, he was waiting on stage, and everyone else came out. But like I said, mate, he was um, in my opinion, he was he was a standout. Realistically, when you if you are in that position where you end up going backstage and having to wait for the overall post, just go through rounds of posing because you, you will stay and get harder as you go through those rounds. So like, just keep posing backstage. Because it works. Mm -hmm. Do that. So. No, that's really, really good. Moving on to... There's this figure, yeah? Yeah, we'll go on to the winners, mate. So we had the... We had, this so. is... Kate. I think she... Yeah, she came third. The girl... Oh, this came... This, ridiculous, bro. Side tricep. She kept hitting it. Uh, she kept hitting it. I would. All the time. Yeah. Um, 
really, really good, mate. Peeled. From a muscularity perspective, she was really, really good as well. But yeah, she hit this side tricep shot, mate, and I was thinking, mad. But all the classes, mate, to be fair, through figure, yeah. um, athletic was really, mate, it was uh, across the board, the standard was very, very high. So that was your short winner. And then tall, yeah. Did they just do short? Did they not have a medium? Yeah, no, I think it was just short and tall, mate. Yeah, it was short and tall. I don't know. I've seen her. She's she did another show before, but I forgot which one it was. But um, from the last time she competed to this time round, very very good. But she won her qualify. So yeah. clean sweep. Mm hmm. The clean dubs. Then we had Athl Athlet yeah, Athletic. So we had Danny Howarth client. I swear this girl is natural. Really? Sick. Um please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm gonna say nine times she she is. She she is. I'm, I'm saying who's she, who's she coached by? Danny Howarth. Oh, this is that oh okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mate, mental. Ended up getting a PCA Pro card as well. Yeah, um, she was really, really good, mate. Yeah, but I was, yeah, I saw that, mate. And I was thinking, very, very good. To be fair, the standard across athletic was fantastic. No, it looks it fucking out. But yeah, I think her name's Stevie. Well done, Stevie. Really good. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Posing routine's sick. Yeah, man. A lot of the posing routines are really, really good as well. Um, yeah, then we had tall. So the tall, yeah, 15k there. The That girl came second. Close call. Yeah? Yeah, I would say, I don't, I don't know, man. I think, again, it's just the... The lady who came first a little bit more conditioned, which we'll see in the video. But, um, what's the name? Lauren. Lauren's shape, mate, is mental. Like from a clavicular width perspective, mate. Like this shot here. Like, yeah. It's just she's so her waist, yeah. mate. See how like wide she is. <laughs> it's just yeah, honestly, mate. Oh, mate, ridiculous. She's got a very um very bright future, mate, for sure. So um yeah. Probably one of the standouts in terms of the females across the board. And um like I said, mate, in terms of her being second compared to first, it was just literally what the judges preferred, but I think it was just a condition thing. I think it was. You'll see from the uh, female who came first, who fully deserved, like, like I said, fully could she could yeah. It was just she was really, really hard through the delts. Like straight adults, look, you can just have she's a little bit harder. So, as you can see, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, what's the name? Natalie, great look, new PCA Pro. Um, yeah, that, that, that was the difference, in my opinion, from her, from her being first compared to second. Just literally just drier and more conditioned through delts a little bit, but both. Both uh, physiques were really, really good. Yeah, I agree. Um, ah, yeah, that was it. And then it was um... second. Okay, she's good. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. She was good. What is it? This was trained. Yeah, this was trained. This was um. You had, you know, Callum Abbott's client. The yes, three. I think. That uh, she came third in this. That's how good the standard was of this. Uh, she came third, so don't know where she. Yeah, I, know know. Where. But, I think a few of the PCA videos got taken down. I saw a story or something then that they did. Um, so that could but, could have been the case. Yeah, yeah, that's the overall. Who came first? No, that's fourth. There you go. Yeah. She wow. was skinned. Elks, bro. Crazy.
But yeah, she was ridiculous. Yeah, fair yeah. enough. Yeah. You know, she was wicked. Great standard, mate, across the board. Yeah. It was a great standard. Man, the glutes are peeled. Oh, mate, it's, it's mental. You got ripples. Yeah, man, but she was absolutely, absolutely skinned. So, yeah. well done, J. Wade. Hats <laughs> off. Is sure, that, take, uh... take, take a guess what the, what the J is. Oh, Jill. I've seen it. Jill. Boom. Let's go. Yeah, my glutes hurt from watching that, to be fair. So, <laughs> yeah. We had the pro show. We did have the pro show. Uh, we had the pro show. We had um, classic won by the Saxon King, the three-time... <laughs> yeah, the three-time champion now. Yeah, well, it was, it was, what, like 2015, 2018, and 2024? Yeah, mate. Oh. Still natural. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, mate. <laughs> uh, yeah. Even more impressive. Yeah, mate. 100% natty. Sick. I didn't know that. Does he own that gym? The, uh, I think it's just called Saxon Gym. I don't know, mate. I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me. Uh, I, think, I think it is. I think it is his gym because he, he's called the Saxon King. So I'm assuming. Yeah. I'm going to guess that he does. I'm not going to yeah. say that he does. I'm going to guess that he does. But um, He mate, does a lot of the PCA like posing classes. I'm not surprised, mate. His posing routine was ridiculous. Yeah. Really cool. Great presentation. Rate it. Mate. Rate it. There's your first. Um, then we had Masters, but then we had Kaya up in the open. Oh. What Bro. a fucking ridiculous look this was. Mate, I think he was oh. like nearly, I think he was 10 pounds up. Yeah, five kilos in five months. Mate. And Bro. he looks probably leaner here. I don't know if he is, but he looks leaner. Um, Ridiculous. Did you see the, the comparison shots he put of his? Oh, mate. And... It was just ridiculous, mate. His triceps have, have doubled in size. In his side tricep shot that he put up, but the 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 main thing that stood out to me was the condition that they brought was one the best ever that they've done for Kaya, and two probably one of the best that they've seen on the night. Like he was skinned. Oh mate, it was it was ridiculous, mate. Like again, I don't think it actually does him justice. No, I can imagine. Yeah. That better person. Um, it doesn't, mate. It really, really doesn't. He was he was really good. Yeah, yeah man. He's got that good like stage confidence, like presence as well. So, oh mate, he's got a bright future, bro. Oh mate, yeah. This was um, I think third place, wasn't it? Sixth. Hey, fucking hell, he got sixth. I didn't know that. Uh huh. I thought he got third. Okay. Mm hmm. Mate, the standard was really good, bro. The standard yeah. was really, really good. Ryan's good. He's got a really, really cool physique. He just needs oh, to mate. for sure. Condition would would bring him. Up in placings, I'm assuming. That was just it, mate. It was just from a condition perspective um, compared to the rest. That was all. But he was really big. Yeah. Because he's he's quite tall, isn't he? Oh, yeah, mate, yeah. And then the winner was... Um, I don't know what his name was, mate. But y y Lubos? Lubos? There, just in the bottom left. Lubos. Mate, what a rig, mate. Yeah, really, really impressive. So, yeah, man, he was bigger, and like I said, he has he was very equal to Kaya in terms of condition. I think it was just he was just more more muscled, mate. But Kaya was ridiculous, mate. Yeah, yeah. I love how <laughs> I love how everyone's there like clapping, and Kaya's just doing a front double. Front like, double, mate. That's that sick. That's funny. Those medals look awesome. Yeah, the medals were pretty sick, mate. That are really cool. But now, nah. well done. Hats off, Lubos. Yeah, well done, mate. Well, these all pro categories here, even these these guys up here, yeah? Yeah, and just the interviews, mate. That was it. Yeah. That was it, bro. So it was honestly, mate, 
10 out of 10. That's your first 10. Yeah, I would, I would, I'd say. You kind of has to be, doesn't it? It's the British finals. Oh, yeah, you can't be anything less. 10 out of 10, mate. Has to be. Um, and then the two bros one, they didn't really post much, so we can kind of just go over it quickly. Um, obviously, they had some of the pro categories, which we'll look at, because we've got a cool new Olympia invite. But this was the uh, the overall for the bodybuilding. Yeah, uh huh. Obviously, we've got Mr. Jack Richardson and Connor Ferber in the middle, battling it out. Obviously, Connor's a lot tighter than Jack in, in terms of condition and stuff, but Jack's fullness and just shape, everything kind of comes together really, really well with Jack's physique. It looks, it's a really, really cool, like, package he brought. Oh, mate, he came in really balanced, mate. Like, his, his rear double was really good. I don't think many people come close to his rear double at this point. Like, his rear double is so fucking good for him. It's only going to get better as well, which is pretty cool. So, um, I would say, yeah, well-deserved, mate. Well done. Congratulations. Very well deserved. For sure. Um, and then we had the... The classic... classic what's, his, oh, what's his name? It's uh, Zach Sky. Um, yeah. Get a pit, is it? There he is. Julio. No. Julio. Yeah, obviously, obviously he won. He won the court, um, the regional, didn't he? So, yes. Exactly. yes. Um, but what was interesting was he went on to come second in the pro show. He was oh, battling it out. He was battling it out with Yemi in the pro show for the uh, Olympia qualifier. Mental. So they they got everyone off, and then um, it was just them two for the for the top two call out. I see. So he went straight. Yeah, the uh, he was like very close to qualifying for the Olympia on the day he turned pro. Yeah, that's mental. Imagine Let turning me... pro and qualifying for the Olympia on the same day. Is there a... who's done that before? Must have someone must have done it. Surely. Yeah, there has been, mate. Oh, I forgot his name now. Oh, I forgot his name. Um, but no, obviously Yemi yeah, walked away victorious on the day. Qualified for his first Olympia. This is his first pro show win. Very, very cool. Um oh, mate. It was it was a good uh, good little show as well, mate. I think there's about yeah. a few guys there as well. So well done, mate. Well done. The uh, the standard wasn't it wasn't like packed, but it wasn't a bad standard for a show. Um like it wasn't like a, a four call out type of type of show, but who was there was good. Obviously they had Oscar Young was competing. I don't know this yeah. guy. He was pretty good. The guy yeah. on the far left's natural. What? <laughs> hey, no joke. I don't know. He's natty. Fucking hell. Yeah, right? mate. He's, he's he's from the UK, right? Yeah, mate. He won his pro card, mate. Um, at Lille, at the world um, at the chat at the natty championships, mate. Christ. Fair play. That's really that's mental. I didn't know that at all. Wow. <laughs> there you go. Sick. But mate, across the board, and then you had Kuba's client who won a pro card as well. Yes. Um, the, yeah. Not not her. She was the um, wellness. It oh. was the. No one. Uh, that's bikini. The oh, one in... oh, this one's good by Cuba, isn't it? There we go. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, mate. She's so heavily muscled, mate. <laughs> Dense. Oh, congratulations! The, the show looked cool. Like the um. The stage set up, the venue. I don't know if there's any better pictures or whatever. Two Bros don't really post that much anymore for these shows. Uh, the guy who won the men's physique as well was really good. Like, his shape's mental, mate. I think he's coached by um, Joe Brightman, the the men's... He won his... Um, he won the qualifier... Oh, sorry, his... The pro show. Yeah, but then the guy who won his pro card... Um, no. I don't know what his name. I don't know what his name is now. Oh, um, it was here. It was here. Hold on. There you go. Yeah, yeah. There it is. Ridiculous, mate. Yeah, very good. Ridiculous, Scott Martin. Very good physique, mate. Like convictly so wide. So yeah, yeah. Well deserved, mate. Well deserved. No, overall, it's uh, it was a good weekend for British bodybuilding. 
I was about to say the same thing. That was a very, very good weekend for British bodybuilding. What do you think about the whole debate of um, people shying away from peace or the, the two bros? About what doing PCA instead of two bros? Finals. Like, I, I, I see the point why people was would say that. To be fair, I, I do, I do see the point. Obviously, we're in. If you're doing bodybuilding, a lot of a lot of people do it to become pro, but a lot of people on the other hand. They don't want to become pro. They just want to do bodybuilding for bodybuilding. And then they Yeah, want but to become... you could say that, and then like you can turn pro in PCA. Obviously, it's not the Olympia route, but like turn pro in PCA and make good money. That's the thing. That Lou Boss won, what, two, two grand? Yeah, yeah, Two grand? yeah. So... Well, look at what Dean White did. Obviously, before he was IFBB pro, he dominated in PCA and took took home quite a bit of money, like winning pro shows. I know, mate. So I, I fully back whatever, to be fair, whatever anyone I think, wants to do. I think they're both good federations. Me and Lucy were talking about this the other day. I think PCA is probably, I don't want to get shitted on for saying it, but I'd say PCA is probably the best federation in the UK in regards to like when you take everything into consideration. Obviously, they're not the IFBB route. So if that is solely your goal, then you're, you're going to go with two bros. But if you're looking for the best federation for you to compete in, I'd say two, um, PCA kind of top trumps two bros in most categories in terms of like, venues how enjoyable it is for the competitor how accessible the photography tanning like everything kind of comes together a little bit better with pca in my opinion Oh, yeah. from a two bros but I do get you two bros are obviously more prestigious so obviously yeah what but I, yeah exactly if you if you if that is the goal then two bros is, is where you're going to go and i've done i've done both and i i enjoyed both of them obviously but I do I do I saw the other one where it was like should they separate the uh the British finals weekends so two bros has one weekend and PCA has a has a different one I think they should do that um I personally think good. but that would then eliminate the previous argument of our people shying away and then it gives them the opportunity to do both Yeah. so That eliminates it all really, doesn't it? To exactly be honest. they should go with that because people then can kind of shut up and Do both if they really want to. Um, I know. yeah. I agree. But I don't think they're shying away at all. They're doing, at the end of the day, they're doing what they want to do. And Some opinions you can't you can't have an opinion to not have an opinion. Yeah. There you go, people. That's something new, but we've gone through everything. Um, obviously, the next show now is the Open PCA Open on first time is six on November tenth, which we are currently eighteen days out from. Um, I've got a client in there. I don't think you have. No, so no clients on uh, no clients on your end, mate. But other than that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to another episode of the Amateur Hour Podcast. As always, if you can like, subscribe, share on the Instagram stories, tag us and all of that jazz, it's greatly appreciated. And give your opinion on the PCA Finals for us as well. We think it's a 10 out of 10. Um, the only thing that I'd like to see is maybe the change to the stage. Yeah, please. <laughs> I'm really excited. I was genuinely like checking their page to see if they post like what the stage looks like. And I, Was really let down by that. Connor was really let down, guys. Yeah. So sort yourself out. But we'll see you in the next one. Peace.